Welcome mates, I'm Bloodthirsty Lord, Bunkoin Lordy, and so we're back on Paragon Nova Prime in 2023. I was a top 100 player with 150 hours in less than a month, but with the decline in playbase, it made it hard to find competitive matches in a timely manner to climb further or remain in that position on the leaderboard. And now I'm top 200-ish, and that's not too bad in my opinion, especially since I have a severe escape from Tarkov Addiction at the moment, and I'm still suffering from that. Just look at my stash, there's items here, there, down there, up there, it's everywhere. It's a maze of loot that I just keep having in this game, and I'm level 29, that says enough. But the future of Paragon seems to be a bright one for you mobile lovers or old Paragon players like myself. New content is coming soon, such as new heroes, new skins, competitive rewards, and a playable console edition as highlighted in their roadmap. I can't wait to see these new original heroes be playable again, such as Wukong, Iggy and Scorch, Crunch, Drongo, Greystone, Grimex, and Rictor. Alongside new original heroes, those are being Mako and Adele throughout the year. With these additions, I do expect a returning play base to enjoy the new content and introduce new players to Paragon Overprime. The play base will spike. Until then, fingers crossed, hoping for the best. But now let's jump into a match of Paragon Overprime and let's have some fun. Make sure to click the subscribe button and also the bell notification button with all notifications on to keep up to date and also press that join button to become a member on the channel. So without further ado, Let's get straight into this. And we're going to play Gideon in the mid lane. Look at that skin. Absolutely stunning. But let's jump into the Agnes of Light in Paragon Over Prime. Highlight the Winterfest event, which I don't think I highlighted on my channel. Pretty much the Christmas event. There's all snow everywhere. Looks stunning. Gives it a great vibe and great memories from the original Paragon. But in Paragon Over Prime, you can go for a jungle smite item if you wanted to. Or go for a tankier route, which helps in lane phase. So I'm going to go for the safe option being tankier. And if we need assistance with actual camps, we can use Smite as well and change our item. So it's not too much of a biggie. Another build that pulls enemies towards the center, which is a great combination with our primary ability as we use the alternate into primary. So you pull them, then it does massive burst damage, then you follow by teleporting towards them and actually going to your ultimate. We'll show the combos as we go. I think I can test this for an easy early game kill. They got one kill. Are they gonna trade for this? I'm gonna help out. There we go. Perfect. That's a kill. That is 100% our kill. Perfect. Easy kill. And our mid lane is not in mid. So I'm guessing that she's doing a buff maybe. Helping her jungle out in some sort of way. So they maybe start on the right side of the map. It looks like they have. It's Shibi as well. Shibi's not too hard to burst. I just have to constantly poke it. With my low cooldown on my Q ability. It makes it very, very easy. So I'm trying to get my farm as much as possible. And get a level advantage. Because I do have a kill. So it should work out to her advantage. There we go. Very nice. Rift. Does miss the rift. It's alright. I'm gonna keep poking around. I'm more cool taking a bit of damage from minions. I have no issue with that. And it always lasts in this game in order to get gold. Nice. That's some very good damage. The next combo she dies. If I get level 3 before then, it's a guaranteed kill. So I'm gonna try my best to get level 3. So I'm gonna try to freeze lane if I can. If not, she's gonna get caught out. She's so scared to farm. Okay, I got level 3. I'm gonna act like I'm going away. I'm gonna still get my farm though. Good time to contest right now. Oh, not enough. Not enough. So close. So close. I can do something cheeky, though. Oh, I missed. I missed. I thought I had enough for the gap, but sadly not. I got a dip. Did I get killed by the Grux player? He missed his ability? <laughs> the guy is tilted. I'm going to try to pull him in. There you go. Nice. Do some damage as well. Oh, I just missed it. One more hit. Perfect. Well done. Well done. Very clean setup. And she'll be back, but even if she tries to go for full engage, I don't think she'll kill me. I still have my blink open as well and my teleport. So I'm all good. This is the advantage you can gain just by making sure you win your lane or get some early game kills and understand that. And it's quite fun still playing the game normal, but I love competitive. Competitive is so much fun. That's why I play MOBAs. You just play MOBAs for the competitive setting more than anything else. There we go, we're safe. So let's go recall. And look at that skin! Lance, I look like I'm part of the map. I love this mate, I love it. And he's got the time functions on it, so you can see it on his waist, on his belt, and also on his back. The cogs and gears of the time, it looks great. And there's a couple of items to go for. You can go for like the tankier brand while still doing DPS, which is not too bad. But what's the item? This item. This is God tier for lane phase. I'm going for that and get that. It gives us some uh, magic resistance towards Shimbi, which is really good. It means that she won't be able to do anything towards us. And we get to do a bit of DPS as well through our natural uh, scaling of our character's kit, being a mage in the mid lane. Very, very nice. But yeah, Gideon's a very underrated character in Paragon Nova Prime. So everyone thinks the ultimate is just like the only thing that's useful in the character, but the cooldown on this character's kit is insane. Be able to reduce it even further, 
You just spam your Q abilities as much as you want. And it's so high damaging, especially with a couple of damage items as well. It's insane. I might start roaming at level 6. So that gives me huge potential to get some easy kills. Like right now, that's an easy, easy kill. I'm level 6. I'm trying to go for this. I'll full commit for this. Did they see me? I feel like I'm sneakier. Dead. Oh! What? You're kidding me. One HP. One HP! I wonder if the Shimmy player is going to end up just ganking. And that's her, like, her whole goal. So if that's the case, I've pretty much won this lane completely. Freezing essentially is not try and kill the minions and let them linger in a certain part of the lane so that you can have dominance. So they can't get farmed, but you can. But then also, if they try to engage for farm, you can engage further and try to get the kill. It's very dirty. Like right now, I'm gonna try and clear it. So I have no issue like delaying this in some way. And then ulti. Oh, she escaped all them. I'm using just the tax farm in. Nice. This is so cool! <laughs> no, I missed. <laughs> Cute epic moment, and they just failure right after it. <laughs> oh, it's so funny. Her pathing is so weird. She doesn't path normally in any capacity. It's tripping me out. I can't get that. I want to, but I can't. And they have a Murdoch, and I survived. Oh, dude! I looked at the map. I'm like, Murdoch's gonna snipe me at some point. And he tried. He tried for it, but I ain't dying because I got resistance of some sort and a bit of tankiness from my items. So I'm happy. Then we go for cooldown reduction of yeah and health. Then you go for mana as well if you want to, to get this item maxed out as quickly as possible. And it's not a bad thing to have right now, so I'm going to go for Bright Stone, which is right here. What the hell? Cool. Nice. What if she tries to fight this? She's going to die fighting this. I don't know why she would even bother. I can keep poking her out. That's the best part about this. Oh. Okay, that's why. Oh, very well done. Get away from me. See you later, buddy. No faith. Don't die. Just ulti for the sake of it. <laughs> oh, it was a distraction of some sort. That's all that mattered. Nice. Look at that. Always surviving one HP to like 100. That's absolutely insane to me. Uh, so from here, we can actually complete our item. The actual pendant. There we go. Get that complete. Perfect. And start building out to this. But those two items make you really tanky overall. And when you're tanky, you can just go for any type of fight and usually survive with not too many issues. Like right now, this seems optimal to abuse, as you see. Very nice. She's pretty much dead. There we go. Very nicely done. I can't... I'm going to try to body block this. There we go. Nice. It actually worked out. Very nice. Easy kill. There we go. The pen, a passive ability activates, which essentially is after set duration, if I use an ability and I proc it against an enemy uh, player through a base attack, it does this like every effect uh, damage increase, which is very nice. We're doing a team objective as well. Which is the spirit buff. Because getting these buffs, if they stack, after a certain amount of stacks, you get pretty much a lot of buffs towards yourself and your team. They just help you out overall. So it's just having it is so necessary. Pretty much like dragons in League of Legends. And those are the benefits on screen. Three kills, one death with 74 farm. Not too bad. Enemy Shimbu player only has 29. That's insane. With two deaths. That's a potential for a fight there. I'm going to try to help out. He's getting jumped. That player may die, but I think we can win this. I honestly think we can fight this and try to win it. Essentially, one of them uses the TP to disengage. Someone's gonna die here. I'm ulting over here. Let's see if it ends up being useful. It seems to be alright. Because we stopped the uh, actual play there. We're getting close towards other players. I wanna try to kill the, their player. That's the most important part right now. Nice. Now we bounce out like it's nothing. He's trying to full commit for no reason. He has no chance. And now we'll go like that. Oh, I missed it. Oh, it still works out. Well done, well done. Let's finish off this other item of here, which is more health. And being very useful to our team, even if we miss abilities because it's our first time back in such a long time. This seems just promising. Nice. Good d DPS. They activated here. Oh, crap. Gruxia. I a bit. Dead. <laughs> she couldn't run away from that one. <laughs> but it looks like there's going to be three kills here for us in our favor, unless someone TPs, but TPs have already been used, so they have no chance whatsoever. Dead. See you later. Give my speed buff here. Easy. Pull him. Perfect execution. That's it. Let's get out of here. Look at those special animations. 
Absolutely insane. This item of yes, sweet life, which gives us physical defense, health increase, mana, and cooldown reduction. But also, whenever you kill an enemy hero, we gain health back, mana back for five seconds, being 2.5% of each category. It's kind of nuts. I feel pretty confident. I'm going to go for more DPS items, and we can use this item right over here, which applies to dot. So, every time we do damage, it's like that lingering dot effect that happens to them, so they can't go back into sprints in any aspect, so no troubles will pull them. But easy kills for me, because I can chase them down. It should be quite easy. If they all appear out of nowhere, I'll be very surprised. We got one over there, two over there. This seems like a juicy kill. I'll take that. That is my kill. And you're dead. Aye, you took my kill, dude. <laughs> it's alright. Teamwork at its finest. <laughs> That's some DPS. I'm happy with that. And you're stuck again. You're pretty much dead. Please alter this. Nice. And now that's a fair trade. Good work, good work. Pull him towards the center. There we go. Good work. Give me others. He's trying to bully me. Oh, you're so lucky. He sidestepped it. Get out of there. Wait, wh what the hell happened there? I'm dead. I'm dead. Yeah, that was so unfortunate. Five kills, one death, eight assists, and nearly 100 farm. As we've now pretty much stopped going for farm, but you know, it's still there. It's still a metric of some sort of success in this game. Rushing center, the Myrtle player is pushing in for the kill. But our Myrtle player gets the kill on their Malika. Oh, that's so hilarious. It's like mirror picks continuously. Nice DPS. And wait, he didn't die. He dead now, though. Close that. Oh, some HP back from that kill. Give me out. Give me out, please. Give me out. No! Oh, I couldn't dash. I even dashed and I lost my dash because of it. Okay, going towards this team fight. It's such a weird dispersed team fight, but we're going to make this work. And hopefully get some kills here. Do they see me? He does not see me, the metal player. Is it enough to get the jumpy? Aurora is also jumping this player. I'm going to pull combo into it. You're dead. I'm sorry, buddy. Wait, stop life leeching. Oh, God. Just kill him. I have to do it. Like, uh, that's the only way we can stop him. Nice. Good work. Good work. Watch out. I'm going to try a body block. Yeah, nice. Hit me. Hit me. Th thank you. Crush does nothing to me. <laughs> does he realize? <laughs> I think he realized he's doing no DPS towards me in any capacity. And pretty much chilling back all the HP that he did in damage. So I'm glad to see that. I'm going to go towards mid lane and clear the wave in as well. And push it even further towards the inhibitor. Oh, wow. That's it. GG. Just like that. And that's the fun you can have in Paragon Nova Prime. Make sure you pretty much dominate the game with your team and have some great moments in a MOBA experience that is third person. It's really fun. I feel like this game is always going to be underrated in some aspects. So that's our time on Paragon Nova Prime today as by Gideon in the mid lane. But mates, tell me your opinions and thoughts in the comment section down below. What do you think about Paragon Nova Prime? Do you like it? Do you hate it? Do you want to see more of it on the channel? I'd love to know in the comment section down below. And are you excited for the next updates within the game? Tell me your opinions and thoughts on that. I'd love to know in the comment section down below. As always, mates, it's a pleasure to have you guys on the channel as we're through this. And I'll catch you, mates, next time. Bye. Pro to 200k subscribers. Let's get it, mates.